What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will create the day night cycle. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is open up our main level which in this case of course it is our desert which is when we also in the previous episode created our really cool opening cinematic that you know uh, ended up looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and make this simple day night cycle. Okay, so what we will do is just, uh, you know, with time, slightly rotate the uh, rotation of the sun. Okay, and it will just, you know, kind of spin and make a day, right? And then a night. And that's what we're going to do. So let's wait a few seconds until the desert loads. Come on, I know, I need to upgrade my PC. A new one is coming in the way very soon. There we go, okay, so we have here our desert, loading shaders, don't worry about this. Uh, we have all the <laughs> sequences that we did in the previous episode. We have the camera here, and boom. There we go, our desert is loading. So, what we need to do is basically do all the logic in the level blueprint. Why? Because what we can do is reference um you know actors in the outliner or in the level now we could also do it with other tricks right in a separate blueprint but it makes sense to have that code in the level blueprint because i mean you know it is only gonna work for a specific level so let's go ahead and just click this button and open the level blueprint okay which is also when you know uh, in the last episode we you know made the opening cinematic uh, play if it's our first game which in this case it will not play because it isn't anyway so let's right click and add an event tick okay because well it will need to be updating consistently uh, every frame and the event tick will trigger every frame and then what we want to do is go here and find the lighting but first of all let me go ahead and select all of these cameras and open a cinematic and create a folder and put here you know opening uh, if i rename this come on okay it is crashing my engine um, i'm gonna basically rename this folder which we forgot in the previous episode you know just so we can uh, have things more organized so opening a cinematic right and then we can close this and then what we're going to do is open up lighting and select our directional light and very important make sure they have movable on now you should already have it on um, when we create the world but just in case and now with the directional light selected in the outliner or even in the level we can go back to the desert blueprint right click and then we have a bo uh, an option to create a reference to that specific directional light and now with that what we can do is you know do things in this case what we want to do is use this add actor local rotation node and this is simply because we want to go ahead and you know uh, basically you know spin our uh, light right our directional light so let's just right click and split this because we are only interested in the y okay so if i go and look at my sun which is kind of there okay and change the y you can see that it will go ahead and you know change from being you know uh, it's hard because it's moving very quick i think i need to look at it from there there we go that's my son and you can see how it gonna goes up and down it is happening very fast but <laughs> you get the idea uh, let me try to position it where it was before i think yeah okay there we go I go back here split it and we only want to change the y pitch that's why we are right clicking and splitting uh, this you know mm, rotator right and now what we need to do is basically multiply this delta seconds by a value what value will be will be our day night cycle speed okay how fast will it happen and of course it's going to be a float so let's compile and set this value to be around 10 for now now this is going to be very very fast but it's just to kind of test right um if this will work correctly and then we can just drag this and just add a multiply node with the delta seconds and simply drag this output to the y pitch and just leave the uh, delta rotation x and z as zero zero as is we are just adding a new rotation on top so we only want this to be for y okay so now if i press play you will see that indeed our day night cycle will happen as you can see the sun is going ahead and moving over there there we go <laughs> and it's happening 
very very quickly but it is happening right and boom uh, because of course uh, of the speed that we said then it gets to nighttime okay there we go we don't see anything we will need some torches or <laughs> or whatever and of course now it will take some time because it's you know at night and whatever the speed will be will determine also how much time we will spend at night and then boom we get the sun at the horizon and we are back in the day and boom again uh, the sun going there so we just need to play around with the speed to be a bit less all right maybe like i mean maybe like two would be something more realistic or something like that but in my case for just the purpose of this tutorial let's put it as something as three i think that you know three will work pretty good you know but of course you can find whatever option works best for you but in my case i think that you know uh three will work pretty good for now uh, maybe <laughs> okay it's too fast but uh you know we can tweak it as we go and of course you can find whatever uh, speed you prefer so that's it guys we found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember they have full access to the project files through patreon or youtube members check out my new course from game Bank tv on how to make a stealth game in unreal join my discord server to talk with me and tell their devs uh, follow me on my socials and now yes with all i said bye bye Bye.